So the bulk of the food that our family grows, that feeds our family for the full year, is grown on this quarter acre little spot on our property. And so we're gonna give you a little tour of this quarter acre and show you exactly what we grow and our design of how we are able to do so much in such a small amount of space. used to growing pretty large diversified gardens in the past right like all of the normal summer vegetables and it was really fun it was really awesome to have lots of things to eat all summer long and we really really enjoyed that but when we moved to our new homestead here we knew we really wanted to put an emphasis on growing food that would, would feed our family not just in the summer months but all year round and so that is how we kind of developed this quarter acre system of diversified fruits, vegetables, and even animals that kind of all exist together in this quarter acre space that is, this is the bulk of the food that we use to feed our family, not just in the summer, but for the entire year. So the first thing that we really wanted to establish on our property was an orchard with fruit trees. And so we knew that that's gonna be a permanent thing. We're not gonna move it. And so we had to come up with the right spot, the right location for that. But also along aside that, we, we also wanted to do some things like raise chickens for meat and grow some storage crops like we were explaining. And so it was kind of a design challenge of like, can we fit this all into one space that they all kind of coexist and are kind of, you know, companions to each other to, to grow this diversified system that really, really works together. And so we started with those fruit trees. Basically what we did was we had three rows that we tilled up. Each one was about 175 feet long maybe three or four feet wide. In each row, we were able to fit 10 fruit trees, roughly about 18 feet apart. So we had those three rows of fruit trees. In between those fruit trees then, last year we planted our potatoes between those fruit trees, and this year we kind of flip-flopped in our three sisters garden area with corn, beans, and squash is actually planted in between those fruit trees. And so we have those three rows then of the trees with the crops growing between them. And then in between those rows, we tilled up another stretch that was about 150 feet long, about three or four feet wide. And in that is we've kind of been rotating between last year we had the Three Sisters Garden in those rows, and this year we have our potatoes planted. And other root storage vegetables like carrots, beets, turnips, garlic, um, lots of things that just store really, really well for the whole year are kind of in those in-between rows. For the, the chickens then, we knew we wanted to raise chickens for meat, so we built a Siskovich chicken tractor. The dimensions of that is they're, they're six feet wide, and so that kind of helped determine our spacing for things too. We have our five rows then. Between each row, there's six feet that we left in kind of a grass or pasture kind of alleyway or aisle between each row. The chicken tractor fits perfectly in between there. We just butchered our meat chickens last week and so they're no longer in this garden anymore. But for the last couple of months, we have been pulling the chicken tractors through these rows, moving them twice a day so that the chickens had access to fresh pasture. And there's just so many benefits to that of, of having the chickens come through here. This ground is so fertile now because the chickens are just continually adding manure and it's not concentrated in any one specific spot because that tractor is being moved so often. So this whole area gets kind of replenished with a bunch of nutrients and organic matter throughout the year. And one thing that we did kind of learn from, from last year to this year that we did differently. So last year we did actually two batches of meat chickens through this space. And so we did an earlier batch and then we did a second batch after them. Um, which was fine, but by the end of that second batch, we were really running out of space because our squash plants were getting really big and taking over, as you know, squash plants do. And so it was getting really hard to drag that chicken tractor through those aisles because the squash plants were sprawled out, kind of covering that I was, space. I was constantly fighting the squash plants, trying to train them to grow, not into the aisles where yeah. I was pulling the chicken tractors through. So we made it through last year and it worked out okay, but this year, because of that problem, um, we actually did, we built a second chicken tractor and we did two batches. Instead of doing two separate batches simultaneously, we did one large batch with two different chicken tractors at the same time. So now here we are at the end of July. We have already raised and butchered all of our meat chickens 
and now our squash plants have plenty of room to sprawl out and do their thing without any annoyance. And then this year, one of the things that we added was some beehives. So we actually have, we started with six, we now have five beehives kind of in the corner of this whole yeah, uh, garden area and system. And that has been great. I mean having pollinators there to, to pollinate this whole area. It kind of just completes the system, it's cool. Yeah, it's been really awesome and beekeeping is such a cool, fun activity and learning experience for, for everyone. And we're hoping to get honey too out of it, which will be great. <laughs> yeah, so it's really, so basically I think the thing that just gets us really, really excited about doing this in this, speci this specific system and I think something that we were just amazed about is how much is possible on really just a small amount of acreage. And so really just from this quarter acre with kind of developing this system of trees interspersed with really nutrient dense, energy rich storage vegetables that did really well um, and stored really well all year round. And then interspersing that with meat chickens through the middle and now adding honey on this quarter acre, we are able to raise thousands of pounds of food of really diverse stuff that does really, really well together and has fed us really well all year round. Yeah, and so the beauty of this setup and system is that really you can replicate it in some variation almost anywhere. You don't need a quarter acre. You can have just, you know, a spot in your backyard, in your front yard, wherever, that you can set aside for growing some Three Sisters garden area, corn, beans, and squash, or planting some fruit trees. There's lots of designs for even smaller chicken tractors out there that you can raise just a few birds in. Really, whatever space you have, you can create some sort of system where you're growing meat, you're growing fruit, you're growing these storage crops that are gonna help you be more self-sufficient kind of all year round for you and for your family. And so that's really the beauty of it. And yeah, like Joel said, we've been just blown away with how much food is produced on such a small scale here. Yeah, so if you do have any questions, totally drop them below. We'd love to chat more about this. And thanks so much for stopping by the farmstead today and we'll see you next time.